guys welcome back to my channel today I am back again with a keto mukbang and this week from June 2nd through June 8th is slasher film week so I am watching Friday the 13th from 1980 and I have my Wonder Woman cup I have some coffee strongest woman alive <laughs> David had gotten me this uh, coffee mug a while back mmm and um, I love it. And lately I feel like Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay, the TV's kind of loud. I mean, loud, yeah. Low. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put it up a little bit because I don't have a remote for it. And I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so what do I have here? I have almond bread. This is keto toast that I made with butter. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, so yummy. Yeah. I make my keto bread with um, almond flour. I do it in a mug. And what I do is one egg, one tablespoon of butter, half a teaspoon of baking powder and three tablespoons of almond flour and you mix it and you put it in the microwave in a mug for 90 seconds oh my god so good what i did was <clears throat> i toasted it <clears throat> in my little toaster oven so yes it could be more like toast So right now, I am still doing the alternate fasting days. So yesterday I fasted all day. This is my first meal of the day. So I am right now breaking a 40 hour fast. And honestly, I do feel like Wonder Woman. <laughs> So, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this week, like I was saying, from June 2nd all the way to June 8th is Slasher Horror. No, Slasher Film Week. <laughs> And usually these horror marathons are hosted by like someone on Instagram like these people are like horror fans like myself <laughs> who host all these types of different horror movie marathons and then everybody just joins in and we each like do our own set of movies that we want to do throughout the week and you know we'll maybe take pictures of it and put it on Instagram and everybody uses the same hashtag so we all find each other and know who's you know who's joining in on the slasher film week and you know it's always different people doing all kinds of and we're all from the horror community um, there's people who've done um, 70s horror week I mean you guys have seen all those marathons on my channel I always like to record them myself <laughs> So there's 70s horror week, 80s, they did 90s. I did my own a while back, which is also on my channel under the all the horror marathons playlist. And I did a Blumhouse horror marathon because I love Blumhouse movies. Their, their horror movies are like the best. Mm. I really like this butter too. I ran out of... 
of Kerrygold butter, which is what I always use on keto. I always use the, the Irish butter. It's grass fed. But this last time that I went to Aldi, they didn't have it. So I was like bummed out. So I was like, oh well. So I just got Land O'Lakes. But, and this one's unsalted. But, mm, it's really good. No, I'm sorry. I'm totally mistaken right now. <laughs> this is not Land O'Lakes. This one is from Aldi. It's like Land O'Lakes. So it's pretty much the same thing. But it's like, they have their own brand. I think it's called forgot sweet creamery or something like that something creamery <laughs> but it's a really good butter it compares to Lando Lakes I love it oh I also did I also did make a keto pancake I didn't want to do too too much food while breaking my fast because I mean, I'm not, since I'm doing alternate day fasting, I'm not really doing OMAD anymore right now. So since I eat throughout the day, always keeping it under 20 carbs, of course, on my eating days. You know, I don't have to have like one huge meal in one sitting. So yeah, I don't want to get too full. <laughs> So I broke my fast now, but so yeah, I went 40 hours and I did my workout in the morning. Then I came home, I took a shower. And right now it's about 11 p.m. I mean, oh my God, 11 p.m. 11 a.m. And that is exactly breaking the 40 hours. So now I'll eat today. I stop eating at 7 p.m. and then my fasting window starts again at 7 p.m. all through tomorrow and then I break the fast again I go another 40 hours and then on Wednesday I eat again breaking it at the 40 hour mark again which would be the same time 11 a.m. I'm liking this routine. I'm liking doing this different. And since I've been working out and doing things, changing it up a bit and everything, I have noticed a huge difference in my body composition. Like it's just crazy how much you progress when you when you add a workout to your routine, you know? And it's amazing, you guys. Like, the benefits of fasting is crazy because I always think, oh, my God. The next day, since I fasted all day, yesterday, whatever, I always think I'm going to be starving. And the moment that I sit down to eat, I'm not even, like, you know, binging or anything. Like, oh, my God, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten. It's amazing what fasting does to your body and your brain as well. I totally, feel, that's why I tell you guys I feel like Wonder Woman because I totally feel like right now I beat my food addiction. A hundred percent now I know for a fact, I am convinced that there is no doubt in my mind that I completely beat my food addiction because I was given the, the choice to eat whatever I want on my alternate days, but I chose to stick keto on my not, um, alternate days, on my eating days, you know? So that's how I know that, oh my God. Food no longer has control over me. It doesn't. I feel amazing on keto. I don't feel the need to going back to carbs and refined sugars. I really don't. And it's an amazing feeling, really, it is. Because, you know, you would think, oh, you know, maybe if I go that route, I might lose a little control or whatever, but not at all. I don't even want to go that route. Like, even if the, it does work and there is results, like I mentioned in my last video, I'd rather do it with keto. I just feel so great when I'm eating keto, really. 
Oh my god, I'm getting full. You know what? I'm not gonna finish this piece of bread. Because I, I'm not gonna be able to fit in my pancake. <laughs> I did want to do like something sweet with this. I got my sugar free log cabin syrup. So, yeah. I always do about a quarter cup of syrup. No, no more than that. And on my coffee, I have um, sugar-free hazelnut creamer. And you know what's funny? That um, while I was fasting, you know, when you on your fasting days, you're given the option of doing either black coffee or water. I hate black coffee. I really do. Um. Mm, so good I put a little splash of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and vanilla oh vanilla extract anyway back to what I was saying <laughs> I was talking to my friend Angel yesterday I was like girl today's my fasting day like I really wish I could have something warm in my stomach like I would love to have some I would love to be able to love black coffee but I hate it I hate the bitterness of it so then I was like yeah so there was this hazelnut flavored ground coffee that I bought at Aldi. And I was like, you know what? I do have this hazelnut coffee. Maybe it won't be so bad, so bitter if I have it like that. <laughs> mm. So she was telling me, she was like, yeah, I used to hate black coffee too, but trust me, after a while you get used to it when you push yourself, you know, to, to have it and you, kind of start liking it a little more you know and then you get used to it and you don't really miss like the sweet flavor in your coffee so I was like all right let's see because I needed to get through my day yesterday while I was fasting mm. so I tried it and it wasn't too bad I was able to do it it wasn't that bad and I was like oh my god <laughs> I really pushed myself to the limits and that extra mile because honestly oh my god I hate black coffee I really, my coffee has to be sweet I have to have some type of sweetener and cream in it like you know that's why I always get that sugar-free hazelnut creamer because the creamer is sweet enough to sweeten my coffee without having to put stevia or adding any more things to it so but yeah I realized that hey it's not that bad it might not be great it might not be the way I love having my coffee but on my fasting days it'll help me get through the moments that I feel like oh I really need something right now so that's what I'm doing now on my fasting days I'll do the black coffee and then on my eating days I'll do the creamer <laughs> sugar free if you guys have and I always buy the powdered one you guys don't get the liquid stuff if you're doing keto the liquid one for some reason has mal maltodextrin maltodextrin is another word for sugar really so you want to stay away from that on keto so I buy the powdered one the coffee mate brand and it doesn't have maltodextrin and I've done it throughout my entire keto journey since day one and it has never kicked me off ketosis ever but yeah you know they have vanilla flavor and hazelnut it's my favorite hazelnut oh my god you guys have to try it if you like your coffee sweet and you're trying to stay away from refined sugars, there you go. Coffee made sugar-free hazelnut powdered creamer. Oh my God. All good. Mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna cut this video already because it can't be longer than 15 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Stay tuned for more, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.